The V Symposium is now in its 46th year. I haven't gone to all of those meetings, but I've gone to most of them, at least the last 30 or so. And it really is a place where individuals from all specialties that are involved with cardiovascular disease can come and hear new things and meet people that they may only see once a year, networking, and come to hear topics that they wouldn't hear or read elsewhere. If we think about cardiovascular disease, it's really all about innovation. And it isn't really that old of a specialty if you think about it. Innovation, even today, is really important. Imagine that we still make an incision in someone's abdomen to fix an aneurysm sometimes in the year 2019. So at this year's VEATH Symposium, we have an alliance with TCT, and it's the VEATH TCT Innovation Summit, where we have a uh, variety of key opinion leaders in the field in eight different uh, sessions, each one hour in length. And what's pretty cool about these sessions is that the individuals came, they presented, uh, they presented cases. And actually they would present the first part of the case, but not tell the answer. And then we would have different talks, featured technologies. And so after the case, we might present two or three featured technologies that had to do with the case. We'd have discussion with panelists that are key opinion leaders from all over the world. And then at the end, come back to the case to see what happened. What happened to that patient? What did they actually do and how did it go? For the first time, interventional cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, vascular surgeons, interventional radiologists coming together. So I'll give two examples. The first was a session on transaortic valve replacement, TAVR. And this is a, uh, an area that vascular surgeons really haven't done very much of. Cardiac surgeons have done more, but it's really been an interventional cardiology specialty. But now we had a session where you had the cardiac surgeon there who could say, what does that aortic valve look like when you opened it up? Because they have done a thousand, let's say, open uh, valve repairs. And you have the interventional cardiologist who may never have seen the inside of a valve since medical school, but they have the uh, cardiac surgeon to talk about it. But yet they know how to get a valve there through the vessels. And then you've got the vascular surgeon who might never have done anything with aortic valves, but knows how to get a catheter around very um, difficult uh, parts of the anatomy. So by bringing all these people together, and then looking at innovations in the field from industry, I think people learn much more than they would otherwise. And I'll give you a second example. Drug-coated balloons have been around for a while, but it was just last year, almost 12 months before the V Symposium this year, where a meta-analysis came out and said, well, drug-coated balloons are great for arteries in the leg, they open up vessels better than if you don't have drug on them, but maybe patients are dying more frequently when they have a drug-coated balloon. And in fact, Katsanos meta-analysis put a scare into everyone because for the first time we had to think, there's a signal there, is that real? It is almost uh, um, unimaginable that a tiny bit of drug that has been used in oncology for years and years and years could cause a problem such as excess mortality two, three, four, and five years after its use. So we're all trying to figure this out. And by bringing everyone together in the Innovation Summit, we were able to get a little bit further than where we were before.